Perry from Toro Peak Distillery. Welcome to Whiskey Experts. Nice Thank to you see you here. And well, what can I say? Finally, the wait is over. And the wait for the Alt uh, Glen was a little bit harder and longer than for the first uh, release, wasn't it? Yes, we've had a few delays. Um, I don't know if you've heard, but there's a, a global pandemic going on at the moment. Um, heard that, yes. You've heard of it? Okay, good. <laughs> and um, and also um, there was a little vote um, for Brexit. And between those two things, um, I think just some things are taking some time to, to get to normal. Mostly COVID, I think, with particularly with just basic things like lorry drivers being available to go from point A to point B with dry goods and goodness knows what. So many little factors that can just delay things. So yes, we're sorry about that. But the whiskey's been in barrel that little bit longer. Yes, it was. And the, the worries of Brexit, have they eased a little bit? It's, it's hard to say because it, you can't always distinguish one from the other at the moment. They're all blurring. I, I, I think so. I, there's, there's clearly going to be a, a few issues going forward. Um, but I think it's in both sides' interests for them to, to stop as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I think they probably will. So let's come back to the whiskey, the ah, yes. first release and now the Old Clan, both uh, releases in the Legacy series showing off what uh, the distillery wants to do with the whiskey there. Uh, how do, do you think they differ, the first one and the second one? Yes, very, very interesting. Um, in terms of just on the palate, I think we've got a little bit more, um, more complexity. Um, I think that clearly there are some, some little differences. And one of the most important things from a consumer point of view is, is the back label, which I'll, I'll share with you in, in a second. Mm -hmm. But on the palate, I think there's more complexity. I think we've got bits of barley, sugar and savoury notes that weren't clearly discernible in the first one. And that's a sign of something getting a little bit older. But they're also a little bit different as well. Can I can I share my screen with you and, and, and show you a couple of, of course, things? Please do so. To people who um, are buying our whiskey. I think the first thing to do is have a look on the back label. We are very, very um, open with what we do. And so the first whiskey that we made um, were, had ingrained phenolics of 55 to 60. Um, we used just the one yeast and we aged in first fill um, bourbon barrels. When we analyzed at the end, we were at 16 phenolic parts per million. Mm. Now, if you if you compare that to here, um, we have got much, much higher ingrain phenolics, two yeasts, um, and we also we introduced refill whiskey barrels for the first time. Interestingly, we came out at 17, and this was, um, to be honest with you, a little bit of a surprise to us. We expected higher. I'd in fact earlier said I was hoping, not hoping for, I was guessing at around about the 25, 26 ppms, but I'd forgotten that we'd also raised the cut point. So that was going to change it. So the, the character here is very different because whilst it's 17 versus 16, mm. it's a different family of phenolics that you're counting. Um, and so uh, for me, very, very close to something like um, smoked oysters, smoked scallops, um, there's brine, there's, and then there's this sweetness, really beguiling, interesting, almost barley sugar-like sweetness. So yes, it, it is different. It shows progression um, in ways that we'd expect and also in ways that we didn't quite expect. And, and we're very, very um, uh, happy with it. Very happy indeed. So this is the second release in the Legacy series. Yes. And uh, I think you, you, you told us uh, that this is, ah, I see here, okay. You have planned four releases until the 10 year old, we, right? We have, yes. And um, the thing with a 10 year plan is it's a bit like going on a very long journey, like driving from the Isle of Skye to Vienna. Um, you're, it's not quite go, gonna, going to go according to plan. I think that there'll be diversions and roadblocks and traffic jams and 
and we, we've already had one of those as you mentioned at the very start and um but if you don't have a plan you'll never get to to um to vienna so um here here is our plan and the plan revolves around a number of things it's the journey to 10 year old which is a long way away um but it's also asking the consumer the whiskey fan to join us on our journey when we started um the the start of our um journey which was here we we walked in the door um january 2017 to a brand new never before used distillery and um it we didn't know how everything was going to react to what we put in it how we were going to react with it how we were going to do and we've been changing things along the way to get to the style that we're looking for to become the 10 year old and um, it's a journey of discovery for us it's a journey of discovery for how the still uh, the distillery works with with what we're bringing in and putting through it and it's a journey we're inviting you on four years later mm. because that's <laughs> at least how long it takes to make whiskey so uh, come on the journey with us and watch our 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 progression i have a question now there are four releases right the legacy yes. was a single release uh the the, the 2000, 2017 the alt clan is of two and a half years and probably will change over time there well, so you plan different releases of, of the alt clan we, we plan um i think it is I've, I've, i've actually done something on this for you um we, we plan um six tranches over this period of time so two this year two next year and two the year after mm. and it's going to there's going to be a slight drift and you're probably going to ask me so how's it going to vary and the answer is Bernhard that I don't know <laughs> um and um but I, I I wonder in my mind whether you will see a difference between the first tranche and the second tranche um but whether if you had a first tranche and a sixth tranche whether you would now see a difference so will you see a difference between one and two two and three three and four i don't know but i don't think so um but but between the first and the last maybe um so that will be quite interesting but these are going to be so similar that we're very happy to have them under the one um um release as it were or or umbrella um which is alt glam uh let me ask it uh um do you plan to have the same cast composition the same yeast the same uh barley variety in each release of the alt clan for example oh yes so yes no this, changes there um this back label here yeah. there is no plan to change that okay um so we don't expect that to basically it's something like a solera system right because you 90% stay in the same age Yes. Reverse Solera system. <laughs> well, I, it's not quite a, what I would think of in my mind as a Solera, yeah. no. But we've been very, very careful with where the barrels have been positioned. So when they come in, the, the, the recipe, if you like, in the mm. distillery was the same. The barrel is the same. And where they get positioned is mm. the same. So that as you know i mean the obvious real variation you you see that in the in the famous ricks in kentucky where the ground floor is way different from the top floor we don't have that kind of variation but we do have variation and so we've done everything we can to control um th that or, or or ensure that that is a lack of variation um and so yes we are going to be using a mix of concerto and laureate throughout mm -hmm. um we are going to be um, using 77 ppms in grain throughout. The yeast mix is the same. Um, first fill bourbon and refill barrel the same and the same proportion. Um, and um, we fully expect, um, we might calibrate this and check it to make sure it's still the same. We don't expect it to vary. The cut points are the same. The age is going to be so similar. You will lose something over 15, mm. 20 years, but over the period of time we're talking about, Really. I'd be surprised, maybe, mm. but I'd be surprised. So we're very, very comfortable 
that we won't be changing labels midstream or alt glown um, uh, um, number one, number two, number three. That's not going to happen. That's it. And, and that's a, that's um, what we're doing. And one of the things that we're very keen on is that the, the real whiskey fans get to drink it, that it doesn't end up in a box somewhere waiting 10 years to go to auction. We, we really, really want people to drink our whiskey. Um, mm. and, and we're not naive enough to think that, that we're going to somehow manage to find a route around all of this. And, and of course, it's interesting and we find it interesting as well. But by and large, we want people to drink our whiskey. That's what we're there for. Um, Can we have a look at the, at the um, plan for the next years uh, again? Because I course. have a question. Do you already know what the Legacy 3, Legacy 4 will be composed of? Do you have determined that or are you waiting to see what? There's a degree of determination about it and there's a degree to be finalized. Okay. And again, remember my long journey from Sky to Vienna? this may change. So I, I, I'm telling you here now, and I'm telling you here that if three years from now you get me on again um, and say, well, you said, um, so, um, but in Kloch um, we're, we're planning and hoping um, to have some sherry casks for the first time. Mm -hmm. And with the Alt Brier, we are planning and hoping for, to include some Madeira casks for the first time. I'm looking forward to that one. I'm, I'm hoping that works. Mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, so, again, these will be in, in proportion. Our primary uh, cask is, is first fill bourbon casks. Uh, that's what we do. And because of the sort of the softness of the whiskey, the way we're making it, we have high cut points. We run it very slowly through the still to get as much copper contact uh, uh, as, as possible. Um, uh, we think this is very, very well suited to first fill bourbon casks, and so that's the primary focus for us. But refill has a has a job to do and a and a, and a mm. role to play. We're very interested, very, very interested to see how it takes to sherry cask and how it takes to Madeira cask. But I think with the sherry cask, obviously, at times you 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 need something really chunky to if you're going to throw sherry all over it as it were so i think we're going to be um you know quite gentle with that but we'll, we'll see we're, we're watching to see what happens but yes the, the short answer to your question is i expect to see sherry cask in here um, i expect to see madeira cask in here there's slight variation on the ppms in grain as well but um i'll let you know that one next time right right very interesting journey very much looking forward to see what transpires here And now, of course, most of all, looking forward to the Alt Glam, which will be in stores on August the 13th, if I'm not mistaken. That sounds absolutely correct to me. In Germany, in Austria, and in Switzerland as well. That is all correct, yes. Bruce Perry, that was most interesting. Thank you for your time. And thank you for these insights. And I'm very happy to see you in person again soon when we all can travel again. That would be very nice, Bernard. Very nice to see you again, as always. Thank you very much.